Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying out Ty the Tasmanian Tiger HD for the PlayStation 4. So I think this actually released a while ago on the PC, but it just released on the PS4, and it is a remastering of an old school 3D platformer that released back in like the PlayStation 2 and GameCube and stuff. I never got the chance to play it, but it came out at the same time as some of my most favorite games like Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, so I'm definitely excited to give it a try. So let's get started with Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Whoa, okay, well, this is a very blurry cutscene so far. I do know a little bit about this game, and this does seem a little familiar. Oh, there he is, there's Ty, he's running around. What's going on? Uh oh. So is he chasing something or is he being chased? Oh, big jump. Boy, well, he's very uh, acrobatic. Oh no. I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay, so it's a game of tag. Uh oh. You okay? Don't move, mate. I'll get help. Wow. Cave paintings. Oh, that's him. Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. I might. It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Whoa! It's huge. My dinosaur ancestors were here first. Thinking for a mammal opportunist. Remember the comet. No, you mammals don't deserve to be at the top of the food chain. No. So I guess these are all Ty's ancestors. Interesting. They're pretty cool, they all have boomerangs. Now to restore the natural order once and for all. Whoa. Oh no. And then he sent all the talismans flying, gotcha. There's a lot of lore to this. I was not expecting that. Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom, Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. All right, well, an adventure begins. I was not expecting that much story to start things off. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess at this point Welcome we are- Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. 
By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. Ooh. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, <laughs> now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. All right, well, that's down that way. So, yeah, everything is very uh, based in Australia, if you haven't noticed. Oh, we're already here. Um, So we could go back as well. But, yeah, I guess we're on an adventure to save Ty's family. Oh, we have the power of boomerangs. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is it. This is where all the talismans were sent away. Interesting. You'll need another boomerang, mate. You'll find one down Bly Bly Station Way. All right, well, we'll go down that way then. Yeah, Ty's really cool, and... I know that it's still like obviously this is still based off like the PlayStation 2 game, so it's like it's not like a modern game in terms of graphics, but it does look, as far as I know, a lot better than it did almost like what 20 years ago now. Wow, so that's pretty cool. And what else is going on around here? Hello, <laughs> there's just these little kangaroo guys. So what are we doing around here? Oh, hello. Good day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to, I said good day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Ooh. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these Ooh. portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. All right, well, I guess we're going into this portal, which is on the other side of this gate, so. Oh, no, there's another portal right here, so let's try this one out. Um, Two up, press triangle to enter. Let's do that. So, yeah, I guess this area is called two up. There's a lot of, like, I guess, like, Australian, like, lingo and slang that I don't quite know. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. There he is. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. All right. Here we are. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes, you okay, Ty? All right, well, he's got his boomerang. Let's get started. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. Ooh. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah? Well, it's not there. Oh. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, bring, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. All right, well, well, give it a try. What are you still doing here? 
Just press the jump button to get out. Okay. So yeah, it just it basically is, you know, a simple 3D platform where we have our action moves, we can jump around, we can do a bunch of different stuff, and I'm sure we'll unlock more moves along the way. But I guess these are the eggs that they were talking about that we need to collect, so might as well try to find as many of those as possible. And we can just jump up all mine. Like that. Ooh, what is this? Beauty, butler, bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Alright, well, there we go. Got our first one. <laughs> Very fancy. Now, you'll have to use your wits to find all eight thunder eggs in each area. So that was a thunder egg? Weird, it didn't really look much like an egg, but... Uh, I'll take your word for it. Those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny, which was the best place to be given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum, but if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Alright, so I guess these serve as checkpoints, little outhouses. Alright, go ahead and grab some more of these. Because there's definitely been a lot more than eight of these already. So, I don't, I don't think these are the thunder eggs. I love the little kangaroos, though. And I guess we're going down this way. Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Stoppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a <laughs> go at those crates. So I guess we have a close range move with circle. We can just go ahead and bite all the boxes. Awesome. Let's get up this way then. And oh, there you are again. I was speaking to a bloke down the local water hole, and he reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use him. Alright. So there there we go, here's our first enemy. So we're just gonna throw him, boom, like that. Oh, and he just gets immediately knocked out. Sort of hard to aim? Is there a button to maybe, whoa, here we go. Interesting, so that might make it a little bit easier if we need that, but luckily we have checkpoints around. If we mess up, we should be okay. Yeah, still just trying to collect as many of these Ovals, whatever they're supposed to be, I'm not really sure. But we're just gonna keep getting them. Can we go into the waterfall? No. I'm just trying to look for secrets while I have the chance. All right, let's keep going. Oh, what is this? Oh no, not more cages. Struth, what happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries, unless you're boss Cass. He's so mad. So yeah, I guess all of our friends were all locked up, so let's see you fix that a little bit. Apparently Bilby's, he's so happy too. <laughs> awesome. Uh, whoa, watch it for this guy. Chomp him if I need to. Hello. You youngins, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. All right, well, I guess we can do that then. Uh, pressing R1 is not really changing the camera distance now. Wait, oh, there we go. It, it's very subtle. Anyways, we can keep going. And what about over here? Once again, can Ty swim? Wait, uh, well, not very well. Ooh, look at this! What is that? I don't know. It looked like a little uh, pirate ship steering wheel or gear or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah, he can't swim too well, so try to be careful with that. Oh, hello. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. Ooh. <laughs> Righto. So these are opals, then. If we find 300, we can turn those into a thunder egg. Gotcha. Well, let's keep it moving for now. If we see any, I'll go for them. 
Whoa. Who are these guys? They're all napping. Oh no, they're awake. They also look like kangaroos, but sort of like also cats. I don't know what they're supposed to be. When I was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. And what are they supposed to be? They look like security cameras, weird. All right, well, let's chomp our way through them. And there we go. Not bad, so there's our second thunder egg. And let's deal with these guys a little bit. Maybe I should just, you know, keep things distance. Whoa, I didn't realize this has gyro aiming. So like I can move the PS4 controller and I'll actually, uh, there we go. It'll actually aim it for me, which is really good. Okay, let's get up closer to this guy. Maybe give him a chomp like that. Cause they take two hits to take now. Definitely a little bit more dangerous. Anyways, I definitely wanna grab all of that and I don't think we missed anything. So we're good to keep moving forward. But what is that? There's like a blue thing up here. What is this? Huh. Whoa! What is that? It Was that an extra life or? It doesn't really tell you, does it? Weird. Anyways, I'm glad I got it. I'll have to keep my eye out for things that are hard to see. That's a little bit difficult to do, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Anyways, looks like we're going up here for right now. Seems good to me. Oh gosh, now these guys are still just like a one to take now, so it's not too big of a deal. But I really am trying to look around for any kind of extra stuff. As per usual, I'd love to hear your feedback if you'd like to see more episodes of this game. And if we do play more of it, obviously I'll want to get 100% done, so <laughs> trying to be careful I have the chance. And what about down this way? Hmm. Oh, we got one of these guys. Let's chomp them open. So there's two of them saved. I wonder how many are in each level. But what's really cool about this game is that, you know, obviously, it's still relatively similar to some other 3D platformers, but just because it's in Australia, I feel like it has like a different vibe to it, even just like the environments in general are very inspired by that part of the world. And it just, it definitely gives it something really unique, because not too many games really take that inspiration. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, he, he jumped back from that. Not for long now. Anyways, there's that done. There's another one of these weird things. I don't know what this is. I mean, I'm sure the more we play the game, the more we'll find out about all the different collectibles. But for right now, we're gonna keep going this way. Oh, there's a koala guy again. Hello. Hmm, yes, yes. This just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest inventory. The Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ooh. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. All right. Come on, mate. All right, so I guess we'll collect as many of these as we can. We have three so far. And I don't think I've missed any, obviously. I've, I've done my best, but I guess we'll find out as we go along. What's what's with Haven't this? I told you already? Find 15 golden cogs and bring them to my lab in Rainbow Clips. Then I can make you a new techno ring. So we still have a lot more left to find then, but we'll keep at it. And what about up here? Oh, I see more enemies. We got them. So the game seems to be pretty simple so far. We just sort of throw boomerangs, we bite things. Plenty of different moves I'm sure we'll be unlocking as time goes on, but it's fun so far, it really is. Uh, oh gosh. These guys I don't trust though, they still scare me. Oh, actually, see, that time it was only one hit. Maybe the bite is more powerful. I can only assume so. Oh, and there's another one up there. So how are we getting that? I don't know if we can even make this jump. Oh no, we can, no problem, no problem. But how do I get up there? I don't know if I can make that jump just yet. Maybe we'll have to come back. Right now we can go this way though. Ooh. Oh, and there's another person stuck in a cage. This one looks a little bit different. It's sort of pink this time. There we go, we saved ya. All right, so another bill be saved, but oh. What's that down there? Can we go under? I don't think we can. So we need to like unlock a swimming ability or something. Hello. Julius told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. 
Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button. Ooh, okay. I'll definitely be using that then. But hopefully, oh my gosh, it's a big crab. So lock on to this enemy. Can I bite him? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I can't use the boomerang on him. I just have to bite him. Well, that's okay, we took him out. So lots of different enemies around here, but hopefully we'll unlock new abilities soon so that we can swim and grab whatever that was under the water. And here's another one of the cogs. Definitely wanna grab that. Thank you. So there's cog number five, one third of the way there. Yeah, honestly, out of all games, this sort of reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, just sort of the goofy music and just, I don't know, how the characters talk and act. Just sort of reminds me a bit of that, which I definitely wanna play that game at some point, for sure. Uh, but let's take on more of these guys. Definitely aiming on like that helps a lot. Let's hop over here, nice. Nice little grab there. Okay. So, let's go ahead and grab this box. And at the end of this, we should be getting a new boomerang, right? I think? Who knows? Uh, there's another outhouse, so yep, more enemies are coming up. But I know they made quite a few tie games. Like, this is only the first tie game, but I know that there is, um, tie two and three that also came out on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube and stuff. What was with the picnic basket? Whoa! Oh, so I guess maybe that's like a momentary power-up where we have extra sort of like, yeah, attraction to all of the opals. Cool. Is there anything else in this water? Not looking like it. Yeah, there's, there were some sequels. I think they even made a tie four, but that was like a weird side scrolling game. Oh, here's the boomerang! Whoa. Awesome. So now we, we double wield the boomerangs. Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. All right, will do. Two rings are better than one, I guess, is what that trophy is. But there's a, a, a crocodile in the ocean over here, not the ocean, the little pond. Can I get him? Oh! Oh, okay. There we go, we got rid of him. Yikes. So what's going on over this way then? It looks like, whoa, I was able to dive down like that. We'll get an extra life, awesome. So I guess there are lives in this game, gotta be careful about them. Don't wanna lose too many. Uh, but yeah, lots of enemies over this way. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, <laughs> too much, too much. What are they doing? I don't know, they're sort of just dancing in place. Are they scared of me? I guess so. Yeah, we can take out enemies twice as fast now that we have twice as many boomerangs, and boom, there is our thunder egg. Cool. So we didn't miss anything back this way, did we? Oh, we did. I wanna make sure I get this stuff. And did I? I guess I was already up here. Ah, not half a bad effort for an amateur. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Let's keep going. I don't see too much else going on around this way, but I can break these open. We're almost at that 300 opals that we need for another Thunder Egg, right? That's pretty cool. And what do we got up this way? Oh, here he is again. Wow, looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. Ooh! How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. All right, well, is there anything down here first? There's not, okay. Just wanted to make sure so that we don't miss out on anything. So let's just jump and then glide and, oh, that is sort of weird how that works, but we did it. Uh, look at that, me mate's mate, 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 was telling the truth after all. <laughs> just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colors. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. Okay. 
What's that for? The racetrack. Ooh. You can race the clock to win another Thunder Egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging for me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. Alright, so let's first grab this Thunder Egg. And we could go back to the station, but there was another area I could reach with gliding. So maybe I should do that first. And what is this? Why oh, was I saying I could talk to somebody there? I, I can talk to you now. See these funny looking mushrooms? Uh huh. A bloke down at the local watering hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Oh. All right. I'll stand in the middle of them. Are we gonna get like teleported or something? Or maybe we're getting healed? No, whoa, okay, well, yeah, we did get teleported back to the beginning. Interesting, so we could take this right now and try to get to the end of that, but I don't know if that's what I wanna do for right now, because like I said, I would like to try to get to that one area where I needed to glide around. That might be a little bit more worth my time for the moment, because I'd like to explore and try to find as much as I can in this level, first and foremost. But that's where it gets a little confusing. Does it tell me? Aha, here we go, two up. So I'm still missing four of the eggs, and I'm still missing two of the, um, whatever they're called. Um, interesting. And apparently one of seven of the, the pictures of Ty. I wonder where the other ones are then. Because I haven't seen any other hidden little boxes like that, but I don't know. If I see anything, I'll definitely get it. But for right now, I think it'd be good just to catch up to where I was. Oh, there's one. I didn't even see that. So definitely, let's go ahead and grab that. Because once again, I sort of want to see how much I could possibly get in this first level in today's episode. But we definitely need to, to glide over for that. Whoa, the camera's a little weird at times, but there we go. Come on, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Yes, maybe, no. Yeah, the gliding is a little weird. You don't really make it as far as you'd think. But definitely, I don't know when Ty's gonna unlock the ability to swim. That seems like it's gonna be pretty important. Yeah, that is just not far enough. There we go, finally made it. There's our eighth one. Apparently there's two more left to find, so I definitely will be looking around for those. But let's keep it moving. I don't need to talk to him anymore. He's just gonna tell me the same information we already know. And luckily, it's pretty easy to make your way through with no more enemies, so. I think it was right around here, right? I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure we're coming up on it. It's just sort of good to also take the chance to look around for any extra collectibles. But you know, that's what these kind of games are always about, is you know, searching through, trying to find collectibles. Get everything done. Hmm. Oh, I never didn't ever get up there. I hope I can. Oh, that is tough. The gliding is a little weird. Because you just don't make it as far as you'd think, but we do make it far enough that boom, I can open that up. So we're just looking for one more, I think. Somewhere around here. And I guess it does tell us on the map if we're missing anything. Alright, cool. Well, there we go. I'm glad we could help. Let's keep it moving. And see what's going on over this way. That, and that's what I'm really trying to look for. Is this anything else I could possibly get that I couldn't have gotten before? But it looks like we have reached the, uh, the part where we can glide, I think. Alrighty, jump, glide. Yeah, we made it. Just barely. Plenty more opals here. Hopefully enough, yeah, for us to get to 300. Anything interesting under the water? I suppose not. And there's plenty of stuff going on over here, so. Definitely worth doing. Got it, and got it. There's nine out of 10. There's one more of those. Hmm, and what about up here? Ooh, this is like a whole new section as well. Gotcha. So I will try to destroy some of these enemies. There we go. Get rid of that guy, and that guy. What is this? There's like a green thing over there. Fight him if I need to. Nice. And there's another one of these, with a bunch of crocodiles around too. Very dangerous. There's a lot going on. I'm just trying to keep up with it all. Gotcha. And what about this guy? Once again, there's something else under the water there. All right, well I can't quite reach him from here. Oh, there we go. Now he's gonna be feeling it. Oh no, oh no. I don't trust him. I'm afraid he's gonna go for me. But I got it. All right, there's 10 of them. You have some weird eyes. Huh. See, I still can't quite, oh, it's just an extra life. All right, well, that's not too big of a deal then. I don't really need to worry about the extra lives as much as I do everything else, so. 
Hopefully we just don't have to worry about that. But for right now, still a couple things to go over this way. What is this green thing? Whoa, whoa, what is this? I don't know, <laughs> but it instantly goes away while we're in the water. That was weird. I don't know. Anyways, go back up here, because <laughs> I'm just very confused. I think maybe we weren't supposed to explore this area so soon, but I just wanted to take the chance, like I said before. Can I get up here? Get this little lunch basket, which has an extra bit of health for us. And I guess, was that a good thing to do? I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't like do anything with them. Oh, all the platforms are in place now. Oh, okay. Interesting. And here we go, here's another Thunder Egg. Bad effort, Ty. Thank you. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool. Get where? I don't know. Weird. But there we go, there's another Thunder Egg. What about in here? Oh, I see the last Bilby, I think they are. Awesome. And that's gonna get us another Thunder Egg. We're doing really good. So yeah, once again, game info. We're still looking for two more of them. One of them's gonna be 300 Opals and then the Time Attack. So actually, we got all those. Awesome. I am curious to see what else is going on around here before we sort of head out. Who would have thought? All you have to do is press and hold Ty's view to throw your boomerangs with better aim. <laughs> I guess that's what he was gonna say. All right, well, I still don't know what was up with that, and it's not available anymore. All right, well, I'm gonna get rid of these guys, if not anything else. And we were already over there, and then this leads back to the end of the level, sort of. Yeah, gotcha. So if we wanted to, yeah, we can just go ahead and finish the time trial now. <laughs> but should it be too bad, right? We'll know for the most part how to do that. I don't know if we'll be able to do it well, but I'll certainly try. There we go. So let's go back to the beginning one more time, and I guess we got all 300 of the opals. Yeah, I guess there's a limit of how many are in each level. Oh yeah, okay then. Yeah, let's definitely give this a try. And then I'll feel good with moving forward. I just wanna make sure that we can do, that we're doing everything we can. Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one, and the race is over. <laughs> good luck. All right, whoa. Oh, this is cool, so we have to go through all the different rings. So we can't like, you know, force a shortcut too much. We have to just follow the rings and sort of do what they need us to do. So we need to do it in 38 seconds, so that's pretty quick. What if we throw a boomerang through it? That doesn't help, all right. And what will this one be? I don't know what that did. Oh, did it give me an extra life, maybe, I guess? Okay. Anyways, we're still moving. We only have about 10 seconds left. Here's the end of the race, though. And we got it. Awesome. That was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh. oh you beauty. Awesome. So there we go. There's our first time trial in the game done, which, like I said before, that's everything except for getting the 300 opals, which we did. I guess we just have to go back to our koala friend back at the main area. Okay, so I finally made it back to the end, and let's go through the rainbow cliffs. So I guess this is back to where we were. Whoa, what's happening? They're working on something. Oh, I found it, I found it. Let me see that. Oh no. A mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags. <laughs> Soon unimaginable power will be mine, mine, mine. <laughs> well, that's not good. We'll definitely have to stop him. But for right now, we're going back to Rainbow Cliffs. And I guess we can at the least exchange our 300 opals for another one of those eggs. That would be cool. Hey, buddy. I got your yes, thing for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Thunder Eggs power this talisman machine. Make sure you visit all the portals. Will do. So I have how many now? It doesn't tell me. Weird. But hey, this door's all open and everything. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. I guess this would lead to a different area. This is walk in the park. There's a little house here. Can't go inside of there. And another little house. Oh, but what's behind them? 
Oh. oh you little ripper, Ty. You found a fair dinkum rainbow scale. When you find enough, take them to the Bunyip Elder at Rainbow Cliffs. And where is he? I don't know. Um, this is shipwrecks. And are there any more of those rainbow shells around here? I'm not really sure. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun exploring the game. There's another one. And I'm sure we'll figure more of it out if we do play some more. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of Tide the Tasmanian Tiger. Maybe we can turn it into a full series. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.